With a curse hanging over the town of Wode Ridge, living there can make you feel hunted. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Tantrum House Studio Awesome. I'm Katie and in this overview I will be looking at Hunted Wode Ridge by Gabe Barrett. This is a one to two player push your luck survival card game. Now if you aren't familiar with the Hunted games, please check out our overview video for Mining Colony 415 and Kobayashi Tower. Please remember that this video is sponsored in part by our Kickstarter backers and by the makers of this game. I have a prototype copy here, so let's take a look. Hunted Wode Ridge follows the story of a group of kids in a small town where many strange occurrences are taking place due to a curse. These kids, with the help of one of their alien friends, will have to face down danger at every turn. In a single player game, you will control a group of kids with asymmetric abilities. You will work your way through the hunted deck dealing with any encounters that you have on the way. Most of the cards flipped will have an icon cost, the reward for activating the card, and what icons you can use if you discard the card. Now you use the chaining ability to get the cards that you need to gain clues about what is happening in town. The evidence cards are played on a board where the symbols dictate where they can be laid. As you complete a column of clues, you go to the adventure book and you read the story section based on where you are located in town and the sum of the numbers on the evidence card. The story has a choice at the end that can either be good or bad depending on how you choose and what the outcome of the encounter you might have there. The push your luck part of this game comes in with a row of cards that you have drawn from the hunted deck. Now some of those cards have noise and getting at least two noise cards and a trouble card will make you draw from the trouble deck. Now you could hide to clear those cards but it will cost you time. Time and health are your only two resources here and if you drop to zero on either of those you're going to lose. If you're able to collect enough evidence and then take on the final boss and make it out alive you win the game. Now this game adds a few different things that the um, to the other hunted games like a flipping deck depending on whether you're in the normal world or on the other side. The deck flips over and you suddenly are in a much more dangerous place with worse encounters and a, a lot bigger consequences. Uh, another big thing that's been added is an optional second player. The two players are on the same team and they will each take two of the kids on as their characters. They have their own row where they will be facing their own push your luck dilemma. Each will only have five health, but they will have to share time. So there's even a way to share cards uh, between your rows so that you can help each other out. Now the final large difference is the adventure book that gives you chilling descriptions of scenes around town followed by your uh, kind of choose your own adventure style choice. If this game sounds interesting to you, please check it out on Kickstarter soon and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more board gaming content. The Hunted Games. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but yep. I swear you keep saying haunted. Hunted. So, so try to okay. be very particular about hunted. Okay. Because I've heard you say it like three times now. Hunted. Hunted. I'm hunted. I did that in the last one too.